Welcome to Photos and Travel, a show that introduces you to fascinating places around the world. Please welcome our host and tour guide, Jonathan Van Bilsen. Hello and welcome to this episode of Photos and Travel, where we bring the world to your doorstep. Today we're traveling deep into the Caucasus Mountains to explore the interesting country of Georgia. We'll visit monasteries and castles, we'll explore the capital city of Tbilisi, and we'll climb one of the highest mountains in the area. We'll begin our journey right after these messages. At Voss, your independent grocer, it's all about hometown living and shopping. Owned and operated by Terry and Christine Voss, their newly renovated Port Perry store carries many local items to support our town and its residents. Pet Value has a fleet of services to help you and your pets to live their very best lives. Visit Pet Value in Port Perry to discover a world of expertise, friendly staff, and everything you need for your pets. Pet Value, your pet, your store. Welcome back. Georgia is known for its fantastic history and culture. Nowhere is this more visible than our first stop at the Grammy Complex. I met my guide Anna and we set off to explore this beautiful country. The Grammy Complex is a historical site located at the Kakheti region, renowned for its architectural significance and cultural heritage. Constructed in the 16th century, the Grammy Complex served as the capital of the Kingdom of Kakheti. I had a great opportunity to explore the well-preserved remnants of the complex, including the Grammy Church of the Archangels and the Royal Citadel. This site offers insight into Georgia's medieval past, showcasing intricate frescoes, defensive walls, and towers. It provided a fascinating glimpse into the country's rich history and architectural prowess. The Bodby Convent, nestled in the picturesque landscapes of the region, is a revered religious site renowned as the final resting place of St. Nino, the Enlightener of Georgia. The convent's main church, which unfortunately was undergoing restorations, is dedicated to St. George and features stunning frescoes and intricate architectural details. Udabno, located in Georgia's Kakheti region, boasts a captivating blend of natural beauty and historical significance, making it a compelling destination for travelers. The area is renowned for its cave monastery complex, which dates back to the 9th century. These ancient caves served as places of worship and refuge for Christian monks fleeing persecution during turbulent times in Georgia's history. The monastery complex at Udabno is comprised of numerous caves carved into the rugged cliffs, each adorned with intricate frescoes and religious symbols. These artworks provide valuable insights into medieval Georgian religious practices and artistic traditions. This area is right on the border with Azerbaijan and it's a simple matter of hopping across a fence to stand in a totally different country. The St. David Garea Monastery, founded in the 6th century, is one of the oldest Christian monastic complexes in the country. Carved into the slopes of Mount Garea, it consists of numerous caves housing churches, chapels, and living quarters for monks. The monastery has served as a center for spirituality, education, and cultural exchange throughout Georgia's tumultuous history, attracting pilgrims and scholars alike. Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, is a vibrant city nestled among the banks of the Kura River. Known for its eclectic architecture, rich history and warm hospitality, Tbilisi offers visitors a unique blend of old world charm and modernity. I visited the Holy Trinity Cathedral, commonly known as Samiba Cathedral. It offers a profound glimpse into Georgia's religious and cultural heritage and stands as one of the largest Orthodox churches in the world. It was completed in 2004 to commemorate 1500 years of Georgian Christianity and its grandeur is evident in its majestic golden dome and intricate architectural details blending traditional Georgian elements with modern design. Inside, visitors are greeted with stunning frescoes ornate iconostases, and a sense of serenity conductive to contemplation and prayer. 
The cathedral's spacious interior can accommodate thousands of worshippers, making it a focal point for religious ceremonies and pilgrimages. The history of Tbilisi reflects a long, complicated era, with periods under Persian and Russian rule. Its diverse architecture offers a little bit of everything. Sometimes referred to as the Georgian Stonehenge, this is the Chronicle of Georgia, which consists of 16 large columns. The lower parts portray the life of Jesus and other notable figures throughout the history of Christianity. The higher parts of the pillars contain notable members of royalty and rulers of Georgia. Looming over the city is Kartli's Dida, the iconic statue of the Mother of Georgia. High above the city stands Narikala, a reconstructed 4th century fortress which is accessible by cable car. The thrilling ride over the Mitgavari River and up to the fortress's entrance offers spectacular views. The cable car journey adds an element of adventure to the visit and passing along the iconic St. Nicholas Church, which dates back to the 13th century, was a real treat. In the distance, we see the Bridge of Peace, a bow-shaped pedestrian bridge over the Kura River. Since its opening in 2010, the structure has become an important pedestrian crossing in the city. The sulfur baths in Tbilisi offer a unique and rejuvenating experience with their historic significance dating back centuries. Visitors can indulge in therapeutic treatments and relax in the warm, mineral-rich waters surrounded by the city's picturesque old town. One stop I had to make was the Gabriadzi Marionette Theater. It promised a delightful experience of puppetry, artistry, and storytelling. Renowned for its intricate puppet shows and whimsical performances, it offers visitors of all ages a charming glimpse into Georgian cultural heritage. This is the Italian courtyard, a term that originated during the communist era because these courtyards became very noisy and the noise was associated with Italy. Houses with such courtyards were often built by wealthy merchants and industrialists of the late 19th and early 20th century. The cable car ride was fantastic and a great way to see this beautiful city of just over a million inhabitants. Tbilisi was founded over 1600 years ago and has been the capital of various kingdoms and republics. I made a point of stopping at the Anshiskati Basilica, which dates back to the 6th century and is a testament to Georgia's religious history and architectural beauty. I found Siyani Cathedral in Tbilisi really captures the essence of Georgian Orthodox religious traditions and architectural splendor. This magnificent structure dates back to the mid-500s and shows the spiritual resilience the people had. One destination not to be missed is the open-air museum of ethnography. It offers a fascinating journey through Georgia's diverse cultural heritage and it's situated in a very picturesque park. The museum showcases traditional Georgian architecture with over 70 buildings representing different regions and eras. One of the largest and best preserved monasteries is the Javari Monastery near Michketa. It offers a profound experience of Georgian religious history and stunning panoramic views from its location high above. Dating back to the 6th century, it stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There is no shortage of religious buildings in Georgia, and a stop at the Vetesko Valley Cathedral is a journey into the heart of Georgian Orthodox Christianity. During the turbulent decades of Soviet rule, 
Atheism, although never officially declared a state ideology, was actively promoted by the ruling party. Most churches were forced to close and many priests were arrested. The revival of Christianity in Georgia came only with perestroika in the 1980s. The architectural grandeur of this structure which dates back to the 11th century is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is renowned for its spiritual significance and historical importance. Legend holds that it houses the robe of Christ, making it a revered pilgrimage destination. The cathedral's striking design featuring intricate frescoes, ornate carvings and majestic domes reflects centuries of artistic and religious devotion. Its central location in Michketa's historic district underscores its role as a cultural and spiritual hub for Georgians. Later that day, Anna, my guide, arranged for me to attend a folk dance dinner theater which offered a vibrant cultural experience. I was treated to traditional Georgian dances performed with energy and skill, accompanied by live music. The lively atmosphere, delicious cuisine and spirited performances made for an unforgettable evening celebrating Georgia's rich heritage and hospitality. The next morning, I passed an interesting musician as I made my way along cobblestone streets to the Shia Magvima Monastery, nestled in tranquil forests. It traces its roots back to the 6th century, when it was founded by the revered Georgian monk Shio. The monastery complex, including the Chapel of St. John, served as a center of religious devotion and learning. The countryside of this region is spectacular. And when I first saw Ananuri Castle perched majestically on the shores of the Jin Valley Reservoir, I was mesmerized. Dating back to the 16th century, this fortress complex boasts impressive defensive walls, towers and churches. Steeped in tales of conquest and intrigue, Ananuri served as a stronghold for various Georgian noble families. Visiting Ananuri Castle was a magical experience and I felt it was like taking a journey back in time. Taking one last look at Tbilisi, I set off to explore the Caucasus Mountains and the interior of this wonderful country. Wow, what an amazing country. Seeing architecture that dates back 1500 years was inspiring. And hopping a fence into Azerbaijan was interesting to say the least. After these messages, we'll continue our adventure through this spectacular country.
Not all Canadians have the time nor desire to manage their finances, and often that responsibility is up to financial professionals. Our goal is to help Canadian families achieve a happy and successful financial future. Visit us, the McClellan Financial Group of Asante Capital Management. Top care with top stylists. Book your next hair appointment with Port Perry's award-winning hair salon, Rosario Greco Styles. The hair experience you deserve. Book today. Call 905-985-0099. Love the community you live in? Be proud of your town and tell everyone. Port Perry wearables. Toques, hoodies, blankets, and more. All from PP Print. More than just printing. Welcome back. In this segment, we're going to explore one of the highest mountains in the Caucasus and come across hundreds of sheep. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. The drive up Mount Kazbek was scary yet quite invigorating. I'm not sure what was more challenging, the roads or the sheep. The trek offered breathtaking views amidst the stunning landscape of the Caucasus Mountains. Towering at over 5,000 meters or 16,000 feet, it presents a formidable yet rewarding challenge for hikers and climbers. The journey to its summit, which I did not do, provided awe-inspiring views of glaciers, alpine meadows, and the iconic Gurgetti Trinity Church. Mount Kazbek's mystical allure, steeped in legend and folklore, captivates adventures seeking both physical exertion and spiritual rejuvenation amidst Georgia's rugged natural beauty. I went up the mountain as far as Gurdetti Trinity Church and found the views to be stunning. The clear skies and chilly air made for very crisp vistas. I continued my Georgian adventure passing some unique land formations and was amazed at the construction crews working the slopes with their equipment. I had an opportunity to visit a market with some very interesting entertainment. And of course, goats are found everywhere. Another marvel of the area is the underground cavern system known as the Prometheus Caves. This natural wonder boasts stunning stalactites, stalagmites, and illuminated pathways, offering a surreal journey through geological formations. While exploring the caves involves some walking and stairs, it's generally accessible to visitors of all ages and fitness levels, making it a must-see attraction for anyone seeking to marvel at Georgia's subterranean beauty. My next stop was the Gelati Monastery, a UNESCO World Heritage Site near Kutisi. Anna explained about the medieval Georgian architecture and religious history, which was very interesting. The monastery was founded in the 12th century by King David IV, and it served as a center of spiritual and intellectual life, housing a renowned academy.
the monastery complex is very impressive. Its elegant domes, intricate frescoes, and ornate carvings reflect the golden age of Georgian culture and Christianity. The main church, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, stands as a masterpiece of medieval architecture adorned with majestic murals and religious icons. Exploring Gelati Monastery allows visitors to immerse themselves in Georgia's rich cultural heritage while at the same time admiring its architectural splendor and serene natural surroundings. While some areas may require navigating uneven terrain and steps, I found Gelati Monastery is generally accessible to all visitors. Behind the monastery is a cemetery where villagers are buried, and each one has a photo on their headstone to ensure they'll be remembered for years to come. I continued my adventure with a visit to Bagrati Cathedral, which is situated high atop Ukimarioni Hill in Kutisi. It was constructed in 1003 under the patronage of Bagrat III. This architectural marvel holds immense cultural and symbolic importance for Georgia, symbolizing national unity and resilience. Historical accounts detail Bagrat III's grand celebration upon the temple's blessing, emphasizing its national significance. Despite enduring damage during conflicts, extensive restoration efforts have returned the cathedral to its former glory. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, but it was later delisted once it had been restored. I found a visit to the Georgian city of Gori offered a multifaceted journey through history and culture. Gori's rich heritage dates back to ancient times with archaeological evidence revealing its significance as a strategic settlement along trade routes. Of course, it's not all about history as modern amenities have brought Gori into the 21st century. The city is perhaps most renowned as the birthplace of Joseph Stalin, the infamous Soviet leader. Visitors can explore the Stalin Museum which showcases artifacts and exhibits dealing with his life and legacy. Despite controversy surrounding Stalin's rule, Gori maintains a complex relationship with its most famous native son, and this is the only statue of the Soviet leader still in existence today. Stalin grew up in this tiny little house, and outside of it stands a railroad car, which surprised me. It's interesting I learned that Stalin had a terrific fear of flying, and refused to board an airplane. This railroad car was his sole means of transportation, whenever he visited places outside of his immediate vicinity.
Beyond Stalin, Gori boasts other attractions, including the medieval Gori Fortress and the Upla Siki Cave Town, making it a compelling destination for those interested in Georgian history and culture. My visit to the Upla Siki Caves offered a captivating glimpse into Georgia's ancient past. Located just outside Gori in the northern part of Georgia, this archaeological site dates back to the early Iron Age and served as a significant religious and political center. Carved into the rocky slopes of the Caucasus Mountains, Uplasiki features intricately carved chambers, dwellings and temples, showcasing the ingenuity of its inhabitants. Visitors can explore the winding passages, marvel at the preserved frescoes, and imagine life in this ancient settlement. Despite centuries of erosion and occasional invasions, Uplasiki remains an evocative testament to Georgia's rich cultural heritage. Its strategic location along trade routes and its architectural marvels make it a must-see visit destination for history enthusiasts and travelers seeking to unravel the mysteries of Georgia's past. I was very glad to have included it in my adventure. I thoroughly enjoyed my visit to the South Caucasus country of Georgia. We have another great episode of a previous visit to Armenia, a neighboring country which you may also enjoy. For Photos and Travel, I'm Jonathan Van Bilsen. It's been my pleasure to be your tour guide today and I look forward to our next episode. If you like this program, please click the subscribe button and you'll never miss an episode. standardnewspaper.ca we try to spread the good news. Even in tough times, we accept the challenge of keeping you informed. So from local contests to local happenings, let's show our support for all those who keep our communities strong. Want to know what's happening in Skugog? News and lifestyle, changes in business, and all the entertainment information you'll ever need. Plus, each edition has a new Photos and Travel article. Look for your next copy in your mailbox.